Hey y'all, it's Willie from Fungi Ally. We're out here in the beginning of June in the Northeast in Massachusetts and just came upon some uh, Rishi, Ganoderma suge. Um, Rishi is an amazing medicinal mushroom that grows in pretty much all over the world. Uh, Ganoderma is uh, Latin for shiny skin. So when you see this mushroom, you can see it kind of has this shiny uh, appeal to it on the skin. Uh, and then suge is uh, based on the hemlock tree, uh, suge canadensis, and that's what it grows on, right? The, the rishi that we've had the most studies on, like medicinal studies from China is Ganoderma lucidum. So it's technically a different species, but in the same uh, genus. So it's not clear if there's a um, huge amount of difference in the medicinal properties, uh, but definitely, a lot of the, the compounds are going to be uh, similar. Um, so this mushroom has a, a history of usage for thousands of years uh, in Japan and in China, and is becoming more and more popular here uh, in the US. It's mainly prepared into a tincture or a tea. So a lot of the compounds are hot water soluble. Um, so if you, these are a little bit early to, to cut, um, as it grows out, so it starts out in this like, just a white button phase. And this part's actually edible. So on this mushroom, if you kind of cut the top off, right there, um, you could eat that and the mushroom would continue to grow. Uh, you can see on this one, someone actually came and cut this. And there's little bits of growth still starting, like continuing to grow on the mushroom. So if we came back in two weeks, that would have kind of these small, fully formed mushrooms off of this uh, stem butt. Um, but they'll eventually all turn into this shiny red color. So the white and the yellow will fade into an all red, and that's when they're ready to harvest and make into tea or just dry and, and preserve. So to access the medicinal benefits of this mushroom, you need to break down the chitin, and you can do that either by extracting it in hot water or alcohol. And the primary thing that we're uh, like a compound that we're looking for out of Rishi is beta glucans. There's really three things, beta glucans, um, sterols, and triterpenes. And the beta glucans are water soluble. So just making a tea out of this mushroom will allow those beta glucans to be intaken into your body. And Rishi have tons of beta glucans. In a lot of uh, uh, supplemental products, you'll see most have most mushrooms have you know 20, 25 percent beta glucans. Rishi have close to 50 percent, so this is a great one for supporting immune system um, and just creating a balanced body. Uh, now the triterpenes, there's over hundreds, there's hundreds of types of triterpenes that have been identified by science. The primary one is ganoderic acid. Uh, which is exclusive to the reishi mushroom. And these acids are only, uh, or like, can only be uh, intaken into our body after an alcohol extraction. So you'd wanna be making a tincture um, to be able to access the full spectrum of um, medicinal benefits that reishi has. And if you're just doing a hot water extraction, you get a lot of that, that um, input. So like I was mentioning, a couple of the primary things that Rishi is used for is uh, immune modulation. So it's a great support for helping to increase the amount of natural, natural killer cells in your body. Um, and it's also an immune modulator. So it can help to strengthen your immune system if it's a little bit weak, or it can help to kind of tone it down, like things like um, inflammation or allergies Rishi can help to kind of tone down your body's response to these external factors and, and not be um, overreacting. Uh, the other thing the, the triterpenes offer is uh, supporting a healthy sleep cycle. So triterpenes like, like tryptophan in Turkey is a common one that just kind of makes you a little bit drowsy. So those compounds in Rishi help to create a uh, healthy sleep cycle and just deep, deep rest. Um, and that's also part of why it's looked at as kind of an anti-stress, anti-aging um, medicinal mushroom.
So to harvest this mushroom, uh, with these ones, I think they're a little bit early. So I wouldn't harvest these just yet. I'd come back in a week or two. But I'm gonna make some tea just today. I've had some allergies coming up and I'll just bring a baby home um, and, and make some tea. Uh, so you can cut with a knife. You can just cut right there at the base of the mushroom. Um, like I was saying, if you do find them in this stage, you can cut around this white margin. And that's really good. Like if I touch that, it's kind of squishy and it's kind of like eating a button, button mushroom from the grocery store. Um, if you just cut there, uh, I'm just going to kind of break it off. Oop. And you can see a little bit of moss came and this is nice. You can, you can see here the, the base of the mushroom, it's a polypore. So it's not, um, it doesn't have gills. Instead, it has these little pores uh, that the spores come out of. And here's that kind of fleshy uh, growing margin where you can just eat that fresh. So that's how you'd harvest it. And uh, these mushrooms will fruit year after year at the same time uh, off of this same tree. Um, basically breaking down the tree and uh, turning it back into soil. So go out, find some reishi mushrooms if you can't find any. Um, you know, check out our website for getting reishi supplement and uh, just engage more with this mushroom. It's a beautiful, beautiful mushroom. Great for your body, great for your immune system. And thanks for coming into the woods with us.